What's up, everybody? It's another one with me, Canary Balance, man. So, I got another music breakdown for you guys today. And we're talking about Thug It, you know, Young Thug. He just dropped his second studio album, Punks. Um, and there's a couple of things I liked about it and a few things I didn't. So, let's get into that. As usual, you know, Thug, he used his voice as an instrument throughout the whole CD. Uh, his drum, I don't even know what genre some of these songs were because he was all over the place with that part. And here's a couple of my favorite songs off of it, right? So I definitely liked Stress featuring J. Cole. Um, Rich Nigga Shit with Juice World. God bless the dead, of course. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ensure My Wrist featuring Gunner. Bubbly featuring Drake and Travis Scott. I See Hot with Doja Cat was kind of cool. And definitely uh, Day Before with Mac Miller. My favorite song off of it was actually Contagious. Like, that song right there is like my worldview. Because, for real, I wish being real was contagious. But if uh, you don't listen to the album or nothing, at least listen to that one song and apply it to your life. For real. So like some of the things I didn't like, like I was saying earlier, um, the genre, I, I couldn't tell you what genre some of this is because sometimes he was doing pop songs, sometimes he was doing rap songs, sometimes he sounds like he's singing country songs. So I was just like, man, what? Like I'm the type of person, if I listen to something, I like it to be the whole CD to kind of be the vibe of that genre. Not just like, oh, I have a trap song then I'm doing R&B songs, you know, I kind of like the person to kind of like have one, one type of genre throughout the whole CD, but let's see, the thing that was really hot though about the CD though was a lot of the features, he picked some really good features, you know, Thug, he's been all over the place with his features the last few years, you know, he's jumped on songs with like Camila Cabello, he's done songs with Drake, Future, had all these number ones and stuff, so he was able to kind of pull, you know, some of, some of the big names. Also, he has like two two legends that passed on this CD, so that was a bonus to the CD also. Um, so, you know, drum roll for my overall grade. I'll give it like three and a half mics because the CD it, it's worth listening to. I would tell anyone, yeah, go check it out. But he has a couple songs like it ran. He has 20 songs on this CD. He probably could have cut it down to like 12, honestly. There's just a few songs that they're like, eh. you can tell he just threw it on because he personally likes it, which is cool. But you know, overall, it is a pretty decent album, and I liked it a lot, and I'll keep listening to it. I mean, listen, I listened to, uh, for real, listened to Contagious, like, probably, like, 50 times, because that song is, like, the best song on it to me. But, you know, you guys, let me know what you think. If you're a Young Thug fan, leave your comments below, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time, all right? Again, I'm Canary Balance. Peace.